Hi everyone, this is Angelica. How are you? Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna just make a video today about standing in your power and taking your power back and being a strong light in the world no matter what anyone else says or does. Because when you do that, God will bless you and the people that you're meant to help will bless you as well, just as all of you have. So I'm still able to do this work because of your support and blessings and donations. And I'm so, so thankful for you because slowly but surely things are working out and I'm able to do my work full time again, which makes me so excited. But I had to go through a lot of very uncomfortable experiences and uncomfortable is an understatement. I had to go through so much that it would trigger me to tell the truth and to stand up for myself and to stand in my own power. And sometimes if we don't go through challenges and difficulties, we don't even know that anything's wrong and we can be sleepwalking in a sense and just used to our daily routine and get so out of balance that we're not even connecting to our power or to God or to our soul potential. So first, I just want to say thank you so much for your support, your donations, your love. It's what has enabled me to be able to do this work full time again. And it's also enabled me to heal from what I was going through because I love all of you so much. And it's my mission to be here for you and to help you. And the things that I've experienced and I've seen in this past few years specifically will really help you in the coming times because things are going to get more extreme because this darker energy that permeates the earth knows that it's lost. And so since that's the case, it's um, just trying to take anything down with it that it can at this point. And in order to prevent that from happening, we have to stay very clear and very conscious and stand in our power and know our truth and know what we're moving towards. And what we're moving towards is heaven on earth. But how do we create that? We create that by healing ourselves. And when we heal ourselves, our own energy body, our own energy field is not able to be persuaded, tempted, or taken over by this dark energy. Um, most people's is. There's, there's many things that will damage your DNA structure and make you weak so that you will be more easily affected by this energy. And it literally perme permeates um, every place that there is, you know, big groups of people. So, I mean, being a sensitive and an empath, you pick up people's energy just anywhere you go. You go into a room with a big group of people, especially if you have Pisces in your chart. And I have a Pisces south node, so I can feel the whole world. I can connect in and feel everyone in the whole world. And that's a really heavy, <laughs> it's a really heavy thing to carry. And that's why I care so much, though. Because if a ch child is suffering in a different country somewhere else where people are like, oh, well, at least I live in America and I'm okay. No, like if someone's suffering in another country, even though it's not your country, it's still a child. It's still exactly the same. You know, it's kind of like this thing, like my country is better than your country or I'm better than like none of that applies in God's eyes. Okay, what matters in God's eyes is that you are getting the, the cues and you are healing and you are moving into your highest soul potential, which usually includes spiritual work of some sort, especially for twin flames. All right. 
Now, twin flames, their souls are already advanced. And so their main thing is learning not to be too nice and too loving. And then in a sense, getting manipulated and swindled by people because they're too caring and loving. So that's why I'm making this video. All right, because uh, most people are going to take advantage of your kindness. And this is what I had to learn and it was such a heavy lesson because I kept thinking everyone, once they hear this information, of course they'll change, you know, because everybody wants everyone to be happy, but it's not true. When, when a soul has a lot of work to do and they know subconsciously how far back they really are from that, they're not going to sign up for this. They're not going to sign up for my courses because not right now anyway. They may at, at a certain time because as more people anchor in this energy in their own energy field, it actually permeates around the planet and these people can come in more easily because the energy is a little bit more prevalent. But the ones that are initiating and starting all this, which are the twins, are becoming leaders to teach whatever specific subject they are good at. So every set of twins are here to teach certain things that they excel at creatively. All right. So they, and it usually ties in to the patterning that they have healed in their own family lineage. Because once the twin flames heal it in their family or just cut off from it and heal it in their own energy field, that same patterning, wherever it applies in the whole world, will be cleared. And that's why all twin flames are born into different family patterning and it's all dysfunctional. And usually it's really, really dysfunctional patterning. It's not just, you know, the regular patterning because twin flames are magical. And so, like I said in a prior video, twin flames are born into families that have had generational curses on them. And we're here to clear those curses. And you clear the curse by finding out what the truth is. And once you know the truth, you can see it. So just like I can see these energies on people and I can see these things energetically because all of my higher chakras are very, very stimulated all the time. Everybody else will soon see these things too, especially if their spiritual gifts are in alignment with that. So as more and more people can see these things, it just um, transfers over to other people being able to see these things. And that's why God makes me go through these things before most people, because I'm not scared. I'm a warrior. So if God is showing me something, I move straight into it. I don't think about it. I don't ask myself, is this the right thing to do? It's like God's telling me something. I'm going for it. Because when you know you're an eternal being and you know that this physical life is so fleeting and temporary and that we are here to help serve humanity, you know that you're always on the job. And sometimes the job doesn't pay very well right now because it's not as popular as it will be soon. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to talk about the law of attraction and why it doesn't always work for really advanced people. So if you are a kind of more... And I don't mean to say this in a way that's mean, but more selfish in the sense of you only identify with your own ego and your own physical surroundings. Um, you're going to be better at attracting things because usually they're going to be material things. So they're going to be like... You know, my family, is my family okay? Is my, do I have my house? Do I have my car? Do I have my, 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 selfish? Um, I'm sorry, and that's important for me now that I'm coming into my North Node because my North Node is way more selfish than Pisces. Like Jesus was a Pisces, you know, even though he's born on Christmas Day, he's really a Pisces. And Pisces don't have a sense of, 
themselves only, they have a sense of we are all one on a higher level. But on earth plane, on the earth plane, on the third dimensional realm, we're not. <laughs> People are learning their soul lessons here. But Pisces sees so far into the future and sees their soul potential so much that Pisces gets confused at, and doesn't understand how we are different. And that's where my compassion comes in. That's why I'm able to be compassionate and feel everybody and feel everything and know where people need to go to move into their highest potential, like what the path is to that. But Virgo is more self-preservation to heal in a more practical way, if that makes sense. However, if you're operating from the lower three chakras, you're going to be more self-oriented. Me, mine, pleasures, pleasures that make you feel good, just you. But because I'm a Pisces South node, I've always come from the other direction. So what's best for everyone? I don't even I don't even think about me, myself, and I because we're all living on this planet together. And if you can feel that, if you're an empath and you can feel what's going on, it hurts you every day to live in a world that is in darkness. And so... Um, the law of attraction will work for someone with a more selfish mindset because the darkness is not going to come after you. You're not going to get spells cast against you. You're not going to have every person that can be hijacked by the energy come after you from every direction like it did me. Because my mission is huge. My mission is encompasses the whole globe. And I don't have any... Uh, what would the word be? A doubt. I have complete faith that what God is telling me is true and I would never question it. So, of course, there, I'm the biggest target thereafter because I will stop at nothing and I know I'm eternal and I don't have the ability to be scared by their energy at all because I'm just here for that purpose, to be in my highest soul potential and to help humanity. So where people, light workers, um, twin flames, people here helping humanity, where they might get confused with the law of attraction is no matter how positive they are, the love and light thing, it doesn't work all the time for twins. And that is simply because, you know, Satan will leave you alone, just you and your mansion by yourself with your nice car and your unhappy family or whatever, like that... Satan will leave that alone. You're not helping anyone. So you're allowed to have that. You can manifest that, okay, easily. But what you can manifest easily is, um, well, yet, yet, we're going to be coming into the energy where we're going to be able to more. But don't get confused if you've been positive and if you're really trying to help do your mission, you will get attacked. And that's reality. That's facing reality people and when you face reality and you see the truth for what it is you don't get as attacked as much what god is teaching you is to stay aware and to not get taken advantage of and to stand in your power and your truth no matter what and you must anchor your energy field and ground yourself and become healthy in order to channel these messages from god and in order to stand in your power and to know what your spiritual gifts are. Okay. So if you get an intuition, you don't question it and go outside of yourself and, and try to find answers there. Never. You create heaven on earth by creating it inside yourself and then shining it out. But it's scary because you feel the emotions inside that you have to heal. And you automatically want to jump back out of that feeling and just live your normal life. But you can't because it's not your calling. Your calling is to help humanity. Okay? And that takes a really big heart and a lot of love. Not just for me, myself, and I, and my country, and my family, and my, 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 no. For everyone, okay? Even the demons, they'll switch over once the twins come together and start working together in our community and we build the light and then they just come in they're scared so they need a little easier journey they're not going to do what i did they won't make it i mean i barely made it 
but I made it because God protects me and my children. And now things are getting better. And because I had faith, everything's going to work out fine. So now here I am teaching you and I'm so blessed. So thank you so much for your donations, your love and support. Things keep getting better and better because of you. And I'm going to start making way more videos. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.